I believe in David Taylor. You know, I believe he's going to be a world and Olympic champion. You know, whoever he has to beat, you know, to make that happen, it doesn't matter. I knew he was good enough to beat anybody in the country. I didn't expect him to dominate as much as he did. He was fearless and he expected to win. And the bigger the match, the more passion he brought, the more fire he brought. Once you dominate, you're expected to always dominate, so it's kind of an expectation. And it's gonna be two for Taylor, he's gonna try to take him to the edge. He'd go as hard as he could, as long as he could until he couldn't really go anymore. Oh, and he's gonna take it! Jordan Burroughs wins! What a match! What a match! He enjoyed competing, he enjoyed training, he enjoyed learning about the sport, but at the same time, he was also intensely competitive. He hated to lose. You know, I was eight years old, and I said I want to be a four-time state champion, a four-time national champion, an Olympic champion, and you don't win those things by dodging good guys because it's gonna catch up to you. He's a guy willing to take risks and learn something new and change what he's doing. the hunger to want to take the progression and translate it to what I want. You know, what I want is to be the best in the world. So up here I got my 2012, 13, 14 All-American plaques. Boom, baby, it's all tied up. The reality is it's up to me to be the guy that makes the difference and the change, finishing the last 15 seconds of the match. You know, I'm tired of being just short and almost. Yeah.